Hey guys, Mike here. I'm having a look at the Asus HomePad 7, the new generation, next to the 2013 Google Nexus 7, also made by Asus. And now, these are both 7-inch tablets, but uh, that's basically where uh, the similarities between these two end. Uh, we have, uh, like I said, a 7-inch screen on this one with a 1280 by 800 pixel resolution. So it's not really impressive, it's not really as bright. But on this one, you have an, a stunning uh, Full HD screen. Uh, actually, it's 1920 by 1200 pixel resolution screen. Uh, very bright uh, and with popping colors. You can see here that everything looks gorgeous on this one. Well, on this one, they don't. Uh, things don't look exactly as good. Um, in terms of uh, in terms of build quality, this one uh, both are fairly sturdy, I'd say. But this one has a matte finishing on the back, rubbery. But this one has a glossy finishing. Uh, it will be available in black and white as well. We have the bla the silver, I know the gray version here, the darker version. But the Nexus is only available in this particular color. Uh, both are quite easy to hold in hand, but you can see that the Nexus is slightly more compact, but at the same time, it looks like it is slightly taller. So a little bit more compact, a little bit taller, and a little bit thinner, and lighter as well. This one weighs uh, under 300 grams, and this one is a little bit uh, over 300 grams. But of course, what really matters uh, uh, are the, the, the uh, I don't know, the technical specification, the, the details. Uh, this one is running on an Intel platform, this one is running on a Qualcomm platform, Android on both of these, but this one has Android 4.2, this one Android 4.3, so the newer version. Uh, this one can be used as a phone, so it, it comes with uh, 4G, uh, with 3G connectivity, but also supports voice services, while this one only supports uh, cellular data. So you can't use this uh, for taking calls or, uh, I don't know, so sending messages or stuff like this. Uh, but you can on the phone pad. Another cool aspect about the phone pad, it has front-facing speakers. So the speakers are here, one grill over here, and one grill, uh, grill here on top. And this should make it quite a, a nice uh, multimedia device. While uh, on uh, the Nexus 7, you also have two speakers, but they are both placed on the back. One on this side and one on this other side. In terms of prices, this one sells for $230. I don't know exactly how much this is going to, uh, going to cost, but of course $230 will get you the Wi-Fi version. If you want the 4G LTE version, uh, it's going to be closer to 300 something like this, probably a little bit more. Um, I believe the PhonePad 7 is going to be cheaper than that. And uh, it could be an option if you want a more affordable tablet with uh, 3G connectivity and of course support for voice services. Okay, that was it for now. Uh, quick uh, look at the Nexus 7 and the new phone. Uh, uh, Okay, that was it for now. A quick look at the Nexus 7 and the Asus PhonePad 7. More details will be available on, uh, on the site, including uh, reviews and detailed comparisons between these two in the next couple of weeks, so stay tuned for those.